And the Lord Jesus Christ is the example par excellence of obedience. He came, he lived, he died in obedience to the, to the Father's will. Jesus' obedience led to sacrifice, but because, this, because of this, he is exalted to the highest place and every knee will bow to the Lord Jesus Christ. He could have accepted the crown from Satan. He could have avoided all of that, but failure would have been written over his mission. He could have accepted the crown that was offered when the people wanted to take him by force and appoint him as their king. But he accepted the crown of thorns and the death, that awful death on the cross of Calvary because he loved us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And still today the good news is that we can have eternal life through him. But we need to own him as Lord. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. When a Roman met a Christian, they would say, Caesar is Lord, and the Christian would respond, no, Jesus is Lord. And so today, as we look at the crowns that were offered to Jesus, the first two were offers of crowns that would have given him earthly authority, one from Satan and one from the crowd. But the way of the cross was the crown that Jesus accepted and he died in our place. To those whose eyes need to be opened, the Lord Jesus Christ is willing to do that. To those who are oppressed, he will raise that oppression. Jesus today is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the day is coming when every knee will bow before the Lord Jesus Christ. We can learn a lot from these three crowns. May God grant that we will not know this just in theory, but that we will own him as the Lord and King in our lives.